here comes the point in the video, <clears throat> a video where I toot my own horn. Not literally. <laughs> um, um, uh, I've been in communication recently, and he reached out to me because he likes my crazy videos. At least that's what he says. Of a one of the world's best photographers, and uh, you could uh, search in his name. I asked him if it was his permission today, because we talked via telephone, if I could make this video and mention his name. He said, sure. And I only talked to him, like, what, two, a couple months ago? Let's roll the clock back about a year and a half ago. And I was telling you the best lenses to get, some of which, 180mm 2.8D AF, 105, 135mm F2 DC Nikkor, 300mm 2.8 Nikkor, which is a huge ass heavy damn lens. Um, what's the, uh, the, the, oh, there's some other ones. Uh, yeah, 85mm 1.8G. The one thing that all these lenses oh, that I started recommending. Uh, like, a, you know, two years ago, whenever the hell I started making enormous amounts of lens reviews, is that I never met this person. And um, you say, oh, are you recommending those older, slower lenses? You know, a lot of those are D-series lenses. So the guy that is doing world-famous photography of the hottest women on Earth, uh, Helena Christensen, um, what's her name uh, with the mole, uh, Crawford, what's her name? I'm trying to remember her name who actually gets, the older she gets, the younger she looks. What's her name? Supermodel. What's her name? Crawford, last name. Cindy Crawford. There we go. All these other, you know, incredible models that are going on the cover of Vogue, Elle magazine, Harper's Bazaar. He's using the exact same lenses I told you were the best. So, this video is partially towards all the idiots out there from Diaper Review, which, by the way, I will unequivocally state are some of the dumbest people out there. It is like the uh, the mecca for stupidity. It is the epicenter of stupidity. All I have to do is go there and find something a lot of people agree with. And uh, by using an axiom that I have based my life upon, an axis mundi, that anything stupid people like that agree upon, it has to be wrong. It has actually been very beneficial in my life. It's like A lot of stupid people like it. It can't be true. So the axiom that I created is nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. So anyway, the point being is that uh, some of the best images to, uh, you know, that uh, are, are created on Earth by one of the uh, uh, top most of top five. I mean, I don't know where he places himself. But I mean, obviously, you know, you're shooting the cover of L, Harper's Bazaar, and Vogue magazine. He's using all the exact same lenses for that stuff as the main stuff that I've been recommending. I might be right on my lens recommendations. <laughs> so, to all the people at Diaper Review and the people that hate me, and I don't care who hates me. I've seen a lot of comments in various places. People uh, say, you got to see this kind of funny comment over on Pentax Forum or on Nikon, on a Nikon board that I won't uh, mention. And uh, what the, the sums up to be, it'll say something like, you know, I hate that guy, but I bought a lens off his recommendation. I absolutely love it. I still hate him, but I listen to his lens recommendations, <laughs> which is good. You know, if I could be helpful, that's good because I'm not selling anything and I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody has their hand up my butt, you know, like a puppet. I want to, 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 to buy this, you know, because I'm sponsored. Yeah, it's the best. So... I will continue to do the same thing on lens recommendations, as I have been doing. Won't sell anything, won't be sponsored. You really think anybody sponsors someone that looks at me, you know? I'm too controversial, but I like being helpful, so. <clears throat> so my lens recommendations, I can say egotistically, are the best on YouTube. I've reviewed more lenses, been incredibly consistent on lenses. I've even made subdivisor groups of how each lens must be judged with its own, within its own category, uh, like telephoto primes, prime lenses, and zoom lenses. They each have their own criteria. The, the three of them don't overlap. I've made a bunch of charts on, this, on the, uh, these principles. You know, over 4,000 videos, basically. I mean, do I have to keep rolling over the same stuff over and over and over again? So, anyway, I hope I could be helpful to anybody. I'm pretty sure I've been helpful today because I just gave away two cameras and three lenses totally free to an anonymous person on YouTube. And I will ship it out tomorrow. 
I've got all this FedEx information and I'm about to box up his stuff and there's no strings attached. The guy gets three free lenses and two free cameras. Um, you can call me the angry photographer all anybody wants, but I give away more free stuff and I'm more helpful and I answer more emails and comments than the rest of them do. You know, ultimately, I'm pretty sure that's what matters. Just because I have a low tolerance for BS, crap, nonsense, does not mean I'm also not helpful and actually kind and generous. Whether you agree to that, I don't give a damn. You know why? Because I'm not sponsored and I'm not selling anything. I do ask for donations, but <clears throat> it certainly is not much. All of them, are, however, are extremely appreciative, but, uh, appreciated by me, but the amount is not that much. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, considering the amount of time that I put into this, which is a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.